Hey everyone, it's Nova. Welcome back to the channel. The world of AI is expanding faster than ever, and to keep up, so are we. I'm so excited to announce that I'm not going to be on this journey alone anymore. I have two new incredible teammates joining me, and they're waiting in our brand new virtual studio right now. Let's patch them in and say hello. What's up everyone, I'm Kai. I'm ready to jump in and explore what AI can really do. Hey everyone, I'm Mila. It is so cool to finally be here. I honestly think AI is the most exciting thing happening right now, and I can't wait to share it with you. It is so good to finally have you both here. Welcome to the team, officially. Thanks, Nova. We're seriously so ready. We've got a million ideas already. Yeah, the list is getting long. Okay, guys. Today we're showing you how to create a talking avatar for free in just three simple steps. Let's jump in. All right, first step. Building our character from the ground up. We're starting with a blank slate and using Gemini as our creative partner. This prompt tells Gemini exactly how to help us, act like a character design expert, and guide us one question at a time. Here's Gemini's first question, personality. We're shaping her as calm, intelligent, and just a little mysterious. Next, Gemini asks about her world, and then a personal twist. We just answer with whatever comes to mind, step by step. And here's where the magic happens. Once it has our answers, Gemini turns them into concrete visual ideas, things like hair, eyes, clothing, and props. Then we just pick the options that fit our vision. After we make our choices, Gemini compiles everything into one detailed prompt. It captures the character's personality, style, and mood, the perfect blueprint for the image generator. You can refine it as much as you want, change the visuals again and again until it feels right, or even ask Gemini to place the same character into completely different settings. That flexibility is what makes the process so simple and so powerful. Next, we take Gemini's prompt into Whisk to generate the image, my favorite tool for this step. It's super simple in Whisk. You've got three boxes, subject, scene, and style. You can type a prompt or upload images for each, and Whisk combines everything into your artwork. Just enter the prompt, set the aspect ratio and seed, and you're done. With Gemini's prompt ready, add your style reference and background and your character asset is ready to go. Once we upload our style reference and the prompt from Gemini, Whisk creates our character. Then we can use that image as the subject to keep things consistent. Add Gemini's prompt again, and voila, our character is ready to go. We do the same for another character. After uploading both characters in the subject box, Whisk places them right into our podcast scene. And just like that, you can create any scene you want. Super simple. And for that final step, we're using DubDub. It's an AI creator suite that's perfect for turning your ideas into video. It excels at creating photo avatars, offers powerful text-to-speech and voice cloning, and can automatically subtitle and translate your content. Narration to AI content. Credible AI platform. No more wasting time. Once we're in the DubDub interface, we'll click on AI avatar to get started. You'll see three sections here for different types of animation. We're going to click on Photo Avatar. Then we'll click Upload Face Photo. It has a cool option for animal faces, but anyway, we're going to use the image of our new character on the clean black background. Now you can use Crop to perfect the framing. Change the background from their presets.
and even use the image enhancer to boost the quality. You can also toggle subtitles on or off right from this screen. Now for the voice. You have three options. Use the AI voiceover, upload a file, or record an audio file for up to five minutes. Okay, we'll use AI voiceover. First, we simply write the text for our character here. Now, to choose a voice, you'll see a huge library categorized into different styles and for different purposes you can use. Or, you can clone your own voice. You can upload your voice from an audio or video file, or simply upload the link of a video. Okay, I'll use a link from one of my videos, and now my voice is ready to use. The acoustics in here are perfect for a deep dive into the classics. But what if your image has more than one person in it? That's where Dup Dub's multi-character feature really shines. Let's upload a photo with two characters. As you can see, Dup Dub automatically detects both people and separates them into character one and character two. The order here is important. Character one is who will speak first. You can easily use the swap face button to change their speaking order if you need to. And from this point, the workflow is identical. You just write a line of dialogue for each character and then assign their unique voice. And just like that, a full multi-character scene is brought to life. Welcome to the studio. I'm genuinely glad you could make it today. It's always a pleasure to have someone with fresh energy and perspective around. How are you feeling? Ready to dive in and get started? The acoustics in here are absolutely perfect. Every corner seems to capture the nuances of sound. It's the kind of space that makes you want to linger and really explore the classics, layer by layer. I can't wait to get started. Let's see what we can uncover together. And that's how it's done. If you create your own characters, definitely share them in the comments. We'd love to see them. Yeah, and don't be afraid to experiment with your own prompts. That's where the real fun is. Thanks so much for watching. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.